Hi guys, welcome back to Gage Tech. This is a quick video show you how to replace the um, spark plugs. So this is on a 1.4 petrol engine. So first thing you need to do is lift up this cover. There's two little clips here and here. That just lifts up. And you can see we've got the coil packs. Uh, so we will need to remove these. Now there is a special tool uh, that you actually can use, which hooks in underneath there, and then you pull the coil packs up. But if you haven't got that, then you can use a uh, flat blade screwdriver. Obviously, it's not the recommended method, um, but if you're stuck and you need um, to get your coil packs out, this is the way you can do it. So first thing I do is remove these little tabs where the wiring loom is. So these just kind of lift up. Now if you can, just use a screwdriver just to help pull those up. Okay, so once they're out the way, I always start with this one first. And what you can do is then just get your screwdriver in underneath that bit there. Now be careful here. And if you just slowly lift it, a bit on each side, it will just start to gently lift up. And then what you should be able to do is just get your hands in there. Obviously be careful of the um, wiring loom there, then we'll squash that. What we can do is then start to just lift that up. Now what you need to do is, whilst you're there, is just get underneath the plug, underneath, to actually get it out. I'll just uh, lift these other ones out for you. Tricky with one hand. So that one comes right out. So with this one on the end, what we need to do is just get this uh, plug off. So you can see there's the plug there. If you just put your thumb in, put it back, and then put it off. Can't do it now because I've only got one hand. This one. And the last one. Okay, so once they're out of the way, then you can get to your spark plugs. I've just got this last one to get to. So, get a bit of a stretch on the wiring loom here. Before we get it out. So you're gonna have to uh, just bear with me whilst I... I need two hands for this bit. <coughs> so, hold on. There we go, I've just released that now. <coughs> so as I said, what you need to do is just get your, your thumb in there, pull that tab back. It's got a little clip in there. See that moving? So you need to do release that and then pull it out. <coughs> pull it out. Now we can get to the spark plugs. Now with my uh, spark plug socket, just get inside there.
So you can see they're not badly sooted, no oil or fuel left on there. So actually they're in pretty good condition. The tip's not burnt off. Okay, so we're ready for the new ones to go in. Okay, so these are the new plugs. Uh, before I put them in, I'm just gonna go ahead and check the um, tips to check the gaps. Uh, now, if you've got a set of feeler gauges, you could go ahead and actually check the, uh, the gap uh, on them. Um, but I'm okay with these, as long as they're all looking uh, the same. It should be good, just to check for any damage, obviously check the ceramic as well for any cracks there uh, before putting them in. So, I don't just drop them in the hole, because if you drop them in, you could end up closing the gap up a little bit. So I put them in my socket, and the socket's got a, a rubber bit in, in there to help hold the spark plug in place. That way then we can put it nice and gently, and screw it in. It's up to you how you do it. You can tighten them up as you go. I, I like to uh, just get them all in place first and then tighten them at the end. <clears throat> After the socket gets stuck like that, you might need a pair of long nose pliers to get them out. Now in terms of tightening these up, I'm not holding the engine in place. So they don't need to go mega tight. I suggest you be worried and check the correct torque setting. But um, realistically, they just need a bit of a nip up. As I said, they're not holding the engine in, but as long as once you can feel a bit of a firm resistance, that should be enough. So I've also checked in here to make sure there's no pooling of oil inside. That would give me an indication that uh, the top of the cylinder head there potentially leaking some oil. all four done so now we can go ahead and put the coil packs back in just put that plug back on push it into place Just clip the wiring loom back in place. There we go. This is it. 
and then you can put the trim back on so it just sticks on the top put those two clips back in that's it guys okay thanks for watching take care